How's it going fam? A few years ago, I made and sold a physical lens filter that I called the Femi filter. It was designed here in Australia, then assembled and shipped from my bro's house back home in LA. Femi filters weren't anything special though. You'd often find similar filters on music video shoots being wielded by top rate DPs to create the most beautiful in-camera effects. Some of these beautiful filters could cost up to $1,000 each. At the time, it was amazing guys, but let me tell you, especially if you're a beginner in video production, I don't think that today I would tell you to do the same thing and to potentially spend a lot of money on a physical lens filter. That is until you first try this crazy new and much more affordable alternative. Times have changed and software has progressed to the point where Premiere Pro has almost destroyed the need for a handful of some of the most crucial physical lens filters that you'd usually start off purchasing. I am talking about the rise of digital lens filters. All of these 10 digital effects that you see here can now be done within Premiere Pro in literally seconds, and I'm gonna show you how. But before I do that, you need to know a few things. First, I need to tell you why these digital lens filters are just so, so valuable. It's because when used artistically, they can provide an incredible amount of personality to your video and most importantly, add yet another level of perceived depth. If you remember from past videos, perceived depth can be introduced into an otherwise flatter scene by an introduction of contrast edges, whether it be with contrasting light intensities or even contrasting colors. These digital filters break the footage up in a way that creates natural contrast edges, and it has the ability to literally bring a newfound life into an otherwise lacking shot. Second, I'll just tell you real quick as well, I have found that these digital lens filters are just simply convenient. I always show up to set with a lot of equipment and I have the most horrible habit of always losing the small things like the lens caps or my quick release plates, or of course my physical lens filters. Moving over to the third thing, I'll tell you that this is the most frustrating thing about physical lens filters. It's a fact that they literally, of course, bake the effect into the image. That means that I can't make changes when I get to my edit. And you and I know that limitations are the biggest enemy as a creative, and there's nothing more limiting than not being able to change footage that you shot. Like what if I find out that I actually don't like the lens effect that I used, or maybe I wanna try out a different one on that same shot. Of course, with physical lens filters, I can't remove or alter the effect, but with digital ones, in Premiere Pro, I can now test literally 10 different filters on my footage and pick the one that I like the best. Now the fourth thing that we gotta discuss is cost. I had previously said that physical lens filters could cost as much as $1,000. Well, after a quick search on Google, I've actually been able to see a ton of more expensive ones. Well, here's the thing, I actually don't mind spending a lot of money. I just don't think it's wise to spend a lot of money on 10 physical lens filters that you could get digitally right in Premiere Pro. So I think we got it at this point. Digital lens filters are more convenient, they offer more creativity, and they don't cost you thousands of dollars. Now I'm gonna quickly tell you how you can get them. Click the link at the top of the description and it's gonna take you to a landing page for the digital lens filters pack called ePRISM that our team just created. And I almost forgot, here's the good news. You do not have to spend thousands of dollars for these 10 digital effects. Just click add to cart and then input the code FRIENDS30 to get 30% off. Then you'll just unzip the file and drag the Mogarts into the Premiere Pro graphics panel. And this is where the fun really begins. Check this out guys real quick. I have this music video that I shot in only 30 minutes here in Brisbane, Australia. I shot it with my cheap Sony 6400, that's actually the camera that I'm using right now, and with its kit lens that came right with the camera. I shot the aerial shots with an Insta360 camera on a really, really long boom pole. I actually ended up using Content Aware Fill and After Effects to remove myself from those long pole shots, but that's not what's important. The point is to just check out these sick digital filter effects that I just added to these shots. I have here a couple of shots that I've edited down in my timeline, and all you have to do to apply these effects to these shots is just nest the shot that you want to use. After that, just drag the Mogart from the Essential Graphics panel over the top of that nested clip in the timeline, just for the sake of organization, then drag that same nested clips icon from the project window over into the Edit panel for that Mogart in the Essential Graphics panel. And bam, you will see the effect being applied to the clip within that Mogart. 
And here's the cool thing, you may already know this if you watched past videos, that Mogarts and Premiere Pro now run two times faster in the new update for Premiere. I mean, it's about time, right? So trust me when I say you're gonna just love how lightweight these digital filter effects feel in your timeline. Try these out, see you soon.